Welcome back to the Mercedes-Benz Arena. It's charity showdown day here at PGI 2018. Now, before the break, we saw Team Papa absolutely dominate, laying down a whopping 20 kills. And it's no surprise that two of the players are actually from our third person perspective champions, Genji Gold. And it is, of course, Simpson and Eska. And they were joined by Evermore and Juan Korea. And I would like to ask you, Drunke, what were the roles on the team? 오늘 팀 파파 20킬 이상 가져가면서 굉장히 라운드 1 거의 파괴를 해버렸는데요. 조항케 선수분에게 일단 질문 드리겠습니다. 팀의 지금 역할 분담이 어떻게 되고 있나요? 어, 지금 심슨 선수가 저희 팀 인게임 리더로 하고 있고요. 네, 에스카 선수랑 에버머 선수가 좀 전방에서 좀 공격적으로 플레이를 하고 있고 저는 어, 후방을 맡고 있습니다. Simpson is right now the in-game leader technically. Eska, Evermore, they're the ones in the front, Aggression and John Korea, he's at the back supporting them. And Evermore, we know you as an incredible Overwatch player. You're widely regarded as one of the best tanks, is that right, in Overwatch? Overwatch에서 굉장히 유명하셔, 유명하셨는데, 옛날에 Overwatch에서도 했던 그 역할에 대해서 조금 말씀해 주시겠어요? 어, 그 게임에서 역할은 되게 그냥 암살자형 포지션이었는데, <laughs> he was actually the DPS and he enjoyed the time in being, but he's, of course, he enjoyed PUBG a little more. Of course, DPS, that makes a lot of sense. Given, was it you that got the knock on Ninja? Eska 선수, Ninja를 잡았던 게 맞나요? 어떻게 상황 좀 설명해 주시죠? 어, Ninja 선수를 죽이고 보니까 잡았더라고요. 제가 옛날에 배틀그라운드라는 게임을 처음 접할 때 Ninja 선수 방송을 많이 봤었는데, 어, 개인적으로 너무 영광이고 어, 기분이 좋습니다. I actually watch a lot of his uh, ninja streaming as well when I first uh, started playing the game. It was an honor to kill him, I guess, as well. And it, he's, he does feel really happy to grab a kill. Eska, do you feel intimidated facing someone like Ninja as you did win the two Intel Awards yesterday? 어제 MVP 인텔 어워드 두개다 받으셨잖아요. 근데 닌자 같은 상대로 게임을 한다는 게 조금 위협적이나 그런 느낌을 전혀 드는, 드시는 게 있으신가요? 어 닌자 선수나 슈라우드 선수가 어, 킬러그에서 계속 나오더라고요. 그래서 굉장히 뭐 지금 프로 선수는 아니지만 프로 선수 못지않게 잘한다고 생각합니다. I saw lots of kill feed of Shroud and also Ninja. Of course, they're not pros, but I think they're as good as or maybe a little better than the pros even. I don't think that Shroud should hear that because I don't think his head could get any more confident at this game. Simpson, I would like to ask you about the move for Genji Gold's players from third person into first person because the EU meta is very much about first person. So we didn't know what to expect seeing you guys in first person, but you absolutely killed it. And I think they should all be terrified of you tomorrow. Simpson 선수, 일단 3인칭에서 어제 우승을 하고 1인칭으로 들어오면서 유럽에서 보시는 관객분들은 사, 아시안 팀들은 3인칭이라고 생각하고 유럽은 1인칭 강력하게 많이 봤지만 한국 팀들이 2인칭 하는 걸 많이 못 봤기 때문에 아직 잘 모르는데 이번 라운드에서 정말 과, 멋진 모습을 보여줬거든요. 내일 들어가는 모습 어떻게 1인칭 플레이하실 건지 묻고 싶습니다. 어, 우선 한국 팀들이 1인칭 연습을 굉장히 많이 했고 이제 어, 유럽 선수들과 맞붙어도 이제 부족함이 없을 거라고 생각합니다. 그래서 내일 경기를 좀 기대하셔도 좋을 것 같아요. We've been practicing a lot of FPP first person, and I think compared to the European players, I don't think we lack in any of the parts, any of the factors. I think I have to agree with you there. Now, a final question for all of you, if I may. Are there any streamers apart from Ninja and Shroud that you will be targeting in the next match? 네, 대답하고 싶으신 분이 대답하시면 될것 같은데 닌자와 슈라우드 말고 어떤 뭐 스트리머 분들 저격하고 아니면 다음번에 키를 가져가고 싶은 분이 있을까요? 어... 한국 선수들을 한번 네, 잡아보고 싶어요. 어떤 어떤 선수? 딩셉션. 뭐... He actually wants to get kill against Dingception. Okay. One of the other Korean player here. And why is that? 
등잡춘 선수를 잡고 싶은 이유가 있나요? 어, 최근에 어, 좀 친하게 잘 돌아다녔는데 게임에서만큼은 좀 그냥 잡고 싶어요 그냥 <웃음> Oh, he's really close to me, so I just have to get some kills against him. I love that. Just such a great friendship there. Bounded by not wanting to have the other one alive anymore. Brilliant. Well, in game at least. That was a little bit savage on my part. G Clef, thank you so much for being with me. Papa, good luck with the rest of your games. Let's head back over to the analyst desk to break down round one. That's right, thank you very much. Savage, just like Savage, were dismantled up on Everest with gold being able to take them down. And Savage ultimately, with them taking 20 kills in our first game of the day here for the charity showdown. Gentlemen, a lot to look at, a lot to break down, but I'm gonna just start off wide overall. What a great game to watch out and seeing the circles finally descend over towards Everest and all of these teams going up against one another. Yeah, it was a fantastic first match here. It proves to show that there is great content indeed that these streamers were able to put out. Yeah. And not only them, but of course the pro players uh, also finding some great frags and not only through, you know, that, that very military ta tactical approach, but also through some very flourish kind of uh, opportunities. I love to see uh, the way that uh, Simpson and Essa, they were able to rag up those skills. They oh, got yeah. the majority, by far the majority of the kills. Yeah. Really shows how skilled they are in FOP. It really makes me even more excited for tomorrow to see that they're they're very confident in the interviews as well, that they're not saying they're not lagging anything and they've been training a lot. So yeah. FPP here, I'm looking a lot forward to, uh, to more games from these guys. Well, they took no prisoners. They just absolutely no. dismantled anybody they ran into contact with. But one thing that's very important to note about how Gold, as well as uh, Evermore, as well as Yuan Korea were able to play that out, it's very clear that to start things off, they were taking a very Gold approach, weren't they, Avenger? They were swinging around quite wide to eventually come into those later circles. Yeah, it was completely to see how they played in the first matches and also how they play when they play in their home regions and also the team composition you can see yeah. how close they are so the in-game leading is on point you can see they're extremely well composed and it looks like it's just like seeing goal play even though it's pop up yeah we're expecting <laughs> this from a korean uh, team as well that they would be very well composed and listening to one another and of course following the igl it was indeed a, a great proof from gold as well, that they're coming into FEP with really, really great pro -web. Yeah, and especially since they've been practicing quite heavily over in the Korean region as well. Let's talk about some of the other things that went down in that game, of course. Uh, we saw that the, the first of the aggressive moves that I'm gonna call this as, as Myth were hunkered down in some yellows, minding their own business, you know, being fine and happy. Along comes a ninja, as well as some TG boys and Josh OG, and destroy their position. It was very surgical and tactical play coming in there, which shows the prowess of that team. I mean, the team composition, again, very close. They breached it. One of the TG, TG guys, you kind of see he really wanted some kills because he was yeah. pushing a bit forward, a bit being in the front, going in the house before everybody else, kind of hunting down here, but I like to see that, mm. and again, this is the charity event. You want a lot of kills. You want to make sure that you hold on everybody, but also a very great position. You can see how aggressive they were, they were when they heard other fights. You, they heard Shroud fight uh, on, on the double uh, grace. Right, right. Very close. They didn't stay inside the compound as you would normally do or close. Saw it in the kill feed. Oh, this is Shroud and Doc. You want to go kill them. <laughs> so they pushed them to the hill and had a very good uh, high ground position on them. Yeah, and it was a good opportunity to actually get that frag, but unfortunately enough, those car 98 shots didn't necessarily connect. You can see Stroud doing the jiggle peek. It's a move that he's well known for, uh, well not well known for, but the CSGO scene well knows. And uh, it seems to be working out in PUBG as well, just making sure that you're never stationary. That's a big element in PUBG as well, especially when you're uh, up against a bolt action rifle with a very, very slow kind of reload yeah. time. Uh, then moving a little bit and making sure you are missed on that first shot gives you a lot of time to react. I think Docs and uh, Doc Shrouds and Ghost team overall did a very good job of having the right tools available to them, given the circumstance. They very clearly had a strong potential for range. They had two M24s, they had a Kana EA, they had an SLR, and then obviously they were constantly breaching compounds, just trying to clear people out. They took out Jari's team quite early there. So, but then I think they got like 13th place Avenger. So what did you make of them overall? I mean, honestly, it, it felt like the breach they did onto the, the double grades was, was good. They yeah. did have a, a, a friendly nade on top of each other. <laughs> Unfortunate yeah. nade from Mikoy, but still, he fragged out. McCoy played very well. It, for me, it looked like the nade should have gone in, but I think it just hit edge. 
and he didn't see it, so it wasn't called out. If, it, if he saw that it going out, they were just spread and it wouldn't happen. But I think we're going to see great, uh, great things from them. On the, in that position where they had to push up on a high ground position like that, it's very hard. And then they also had a snake on behind, so they were kind of pinched in, in between it. Yeah, they had to make a move, and they kind of made it happen. Yeah. Uh, I think it might be time soon to see the results of what we actually have Ooh. go on just then. As you can see here, 11th through 20th, all of these teams trying to rack up as many points as possible, of course. Team Echo got themselves a lot of rank points in terms of actually their position, but not that many kills themselves, uh, as that was the CGX guys coming in there, uh, representing with Shaka as well as Ronzo. Looking up to number one, of course, that is Genji Gold with Embermore and Juan Korea. Um, and moving on down there, you can see as the kills come in. Team Alpha not exactly having the most kills, but that was God V just kind of snaking through at the very end there, uh, being able to keep himself alive and getting that second place. Yeah, that's the antithesis of uh, streamer PUBG, I suppose. It's, it's <laughs> snaking around, making sure that you get good position. That's yeah. about it. It's, it's nothing to look at and think, wow, that's wonderful, but it's actually good to see this uh, this kind of underdog play, you know, making it into the top uh, top five. That's actually good to see for me to watch. Then again, I'm, uh, I'm well into budget. You also got to remember, we only got four rounds, so right. if right. you're able to salvage just one round, getting into the top three or something like Great. that, then you have another round where you maybe frag out or you get another snake, then you, you're really looking at the money. They got 800 points already, the yes. Papa boys and the gold guys. I'm pretty sure they're going to win some money for charity. Absolutely, especially if they keep up that kind of momentum, of course, something that Doc knows about, but maybe they need to protect, pay us up some momentum here as we continue on. Here is Team Liquid with Wacky Jackie and Sacriel as well. What did you make of their campaign here? They played a very liquid start, so clearly our streamers are listening to the pros for this team. I mean, honestly, I feel like they, they had a very good composition. They stayed in the SNI for a long time, but the way they came into the circle, they kind of, uh, they lost a few players, one yep. on rotation, and it ended up not so good. Lick, uh, Ibiza had to to run away from the house once they the once the ghost guys they breached it, so you kind of had to uh, to dip out and uh, make sure you kind of tried to salvage, but it didn't happen unfortunately. But I I still think we're going to see a good thing from them. The composition, their looting grounds, they have the SNI to themselves. Yeah, yeah. And with the ghost guys having you know two M24s and SLR and a kind of aid, what do you think you can get out of SNI? You could probably get 50 first aids and an AWM or something like that. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. As ghost gaming has to be put uh, forward, they are looting a Pachinki as well as they are in the esports scene. Yeah, a, a, a great attempt by, uh, by Liquid, but it does show that, you know, Skoom's rotations, those super intelligent rotations, uh, are indeed needed for such a super talented roster like Liquid is. I like taking a look at uh, Wick's team just there before as well, because on that team at the moment, they have Wick, German, they have two streamers, German, and then they have Grizzly. Not German. <laughs> so <laughs> there is that funny dynamic where they, right now they have to speak in English, but if Grizzly goes down, they can speak in German. And and yeah, up. they said that. So like, if you die, yeah, we, we'll, we'll just speak German. This is not that. <laughs> better communication. That also talks to how important communication is. Even the streamers is where fast, precise communication. Yeah. If you can do that in your native tongue, it's just going to be so much faster. Yeah, exactly. You bring up a very, very good point. In PUBG, it's not like CSGO where you have set locations uh, where you have, or any other esports where you have set locations, set strategies, and a very limited amount of vocabulary. In PUBG, it's much more complex. You have to count numbers. You have to call out numbers for yeah. the position of enemies very fast. So you basically have to think, think in a foreign language. Uh, you have to adjust your metering and call out to your teammates how far enemies are. You have to use all that inventory vocabulary as well. So it becomes that much more difficult to speak in a different language than your own. Before the heart, an Octave, I guess, was doing a, a, a circle, I guess, for, for a PUBG. I'm not sure where that was going. Uh, but regardless. Know, he needs circle love. That's so he needs some love yeah, yeah. from the oh, circle. Oh, hey, Avenger. I like it. I like it. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Uh, but of course, on the other side before, we saw, uh, you know, Viva La Dirt League as well with the Knights guys. Uh, if you've not checked out some of Viva La Dirt League's oh, videos in terms of them running around in real life with PUBG, they did some StarCraft videos before that as well. And uh, something a lot of our Koreans here are very familiar with, uh, which was awesome to see them kind of rise through the ranks of video creation. That's a weird thing to say, but that's what they did. And they came along <laughs> a long way. They're coming in from New Zealand right yes. here specifically for this event just for charity. So furthermore, good off to them. Absolutely, absolutely. So coming into game number two, gentlemen, what are you expecting? What do you want? Do you want to see more aggression? Do you want to see... Oh, Avenger, you, you would know go, what I want to see? Right. I want to see a military circle. Ooh. I miss it. 
Yeah. I want it. We yeah. haven't necessarily seen we military. We haven't had yeah, a military yeah. circle in the first eight games of the two days. Ah, so nine games changed. without a military circle, I want to see one. Well, maybe you've called it. Maybe it's going to happen. What I would like to see, and what I actually love to, to see right now, is the fact that there are indeed set places for loot. We don't have that much aggression at the start, but a lot of teams are going for vehicles. It seems to be a very, very important, uh, you know, uh, power to your team, that vehicle. So yeah, we do see perhaps some runovers. So that's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing if that happens again, if any of the uh, of the players on the server get killed by rope. You know what I want to see, boys? I want to see some long range kills. I want to see oh, some yeah. big, big pickoffs and see if we can get maybe into the 500, 600 meter range, see if we can get a few of those. Because that is, as you mentioned before, a lot of kills, a lot of range. Uh-oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, gentlemen. What's that? What's that I see? <laughs> Man, you gotta love the doc. I don't know anybody <laughs> that would think of the doc in any bad way. He's an absolute superstar, an utter legend, and of course, the face of Twitch itself. That's right. You gotta be scared when the doc stares you in the face. Everyone out there, just for a moment, froze in fear. Scary stuff there coming out from the doc. Beyond that, though, game number two, as I was saying, a lot of kills is kind of their bread and butter, but the long range shots are their bread and butter as well. You see that time and time again from these streamers, able to hit those big long shots, and then they end up a clip, and then they end up from Reddit. I actually want to see, <laughs> I want, when they sit in the booths next to each other, I want to see some, you know, not friendly competition. I want to see them against some each other. I want to see them oh. call each other out. You know, no. the, not the trash talk, trash talk, but good. the friendly trash talk. I'm coming for you. That would be good. Standing up, you know, pointing it. It's something it. that the world of PUBG actually needs, the world of PUBG Esports. And here's the thing, we are one big family, and I have to shout out all the players that I've met so far. They're all lovely people. And because there's no direct rivalries, there's no 1v1 matches, we all kind of consider ourselves as a big kind of family. But yeah, a bit of rivalry, a bit of spice, a bit of banter would be good in there. I, I thought you were going a different way with that. You were like, oh, I've met all these players, they're really nice guys, but that Kyle Aris guy, oh, watch out for him. <laughs> He's a feisty individual. Oh. But no, I, di I digress. The truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so beyond that overall, Avenger, uh, looking at how these teams have been able to play in game number one, who was kind of a surprise for you coming into that? Who, who kind of performed uh, where you didn't expect them to be able to or was able to kind of really show up there in that? I was not sure about the Knights in the uh, Vivo Dirt League, honestly, okay, because okay. kind of a weird competition. Knights are very competitive. I know for a fact, you know, oh. they are very vocal in their communication. And also, I know they were tilted after yesterday. They felt they could have done better. Uh, I think they did amazing. I, I expect them to do great in uh, FPP as well for tomorrow and Sunday, of course. Yeah. But they racked up a lot of kills. Their position was great. The composition, they were very close together. So they're able to communicate and compose the team as they do when they play the full night lineup. So that's kind of surprising to me. I did uh, expect it to be kind of a, you just know, um, or kind of a hit or miss, but uh, they definitely hit this ball. We had the, also a team Oscar actually, who was comprised of Savage on that east side of Everest, being able to churn in quite a few kills, quite a few knocks up until gold eventually kind of wiped them out off the map. But beyond that, very impressive stuff from them, I think, as well. Thank you very much, gentlemen, as we are now ready to head to game number two here for the charity showdown for PGI 2018. You know, I get excited when the Doc looks like he's ready to actually murder somebody <laughs> that won't be himself. Like that whole snap, like you hope is not going to be the Doc himself. Because he, he did go down pretty early. I think he's ready to murder most Lights. of the time. I think that he's, uh, you know, a, a very high energy individual, clearly. And uh, at this stage, that was just a warm up, as they say. And, of course. Uh, getting, getting used to it, of getting course. used to the environment, making sure your chair is the right height. It's like, it's like, it's like, no, I got to get the advice from the pros, right? Because who's really using a K98 or, like, during the competitive matches? Isn't it always those minis or the or the SKS is coming in, like more of these like rail rail style guns that we've seen. Well, in this case, it's about flash, I think, and that's flash. The, the doctor disrespects Shroud. Everyone is uh, is looking to hit those shots, trying their best to to make a showing here, and uh, they had a good first game. Yeah. But at the same time, they were constantly being harassed by other teams. They mm -hmm. got into a couple of good team fights. Sometimes you blow up your own teammate with a grenade, have to go and res them. Oops. Whoopsie daisy is yeah. a little bit of a tough it, throw there. We're but. just doing it for the fans. That's, that's yeah. why we're doing this. And for Keep the it, charities. Keeping it fair. Remember, that's what it's really all about, the extra money going to what is needed. Uh, plane is fantastic. We've been gifted this one. It is a straight diagonal line. Everybody gets the drops they're basically looking for. This plane doesn't restrict 
anything. We are, we are free fall in this one. Easy movement, nice, uh, nice path through the middle of the map. It looks like we're going to get some action on the military base. And the, and the desk just said it. We have not seen a Millie circle yet. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit of the same here for Team Bravo headed into Pachinki. I would take a Millie circle. I always, like, my biggest favorite ends of circle, the south and the southeast side of the military base. It's always, always good fun. Percentages are low, oh. and we'll get our circle in a bit. Here we go. Ninja grabbing that M16 on the apartments of the rooftops. Yeah, try and actually get a hit onto one of the big pros. Uh, myth on the run. That's uh, optimistic, to I would say the least. At the, ver at the very least. And uh, we're going southwest, actually, with the circle. Hello. A little bit of a, little bit of a standoff here. Yeah. OHM versus OMG. A lot of O's. That's AK oh. versus Pistol, and they're all outside the building. And uh, welcome to early blood once again spilt. This time it will be Linda from OMG going down. Linda's taking a seat, and we are headed back west. And a little bit further south this time around, water in play, Millie in play as well. Mm -hmm. But lots of open real estate in this Gatka region. Oh. There's another one. Another one to take a full OMG. Lion Cade's going to get that one. Uh, this is great for the Navi, Navi stack uh, under the cold sign of Lima. Uh, they are well comfortable in this circle. And all they got to do is just stick together, but it's going to be a little bit more of a different play than they normally do. Normally, Navi, Navi do this 2 2 split, but maybe they stick together a little bit closer this time around. So the one team that did not have a good round last time was uh, Wacky Jackie and Team Liquid, as well as Sacreal. Weren't they meant to be the greatest? Yeah. I remember you saying, Moses, Wacky Jackie is going to be the greatest. It's, uh, you know, he's an excellent player in his own right, but this is the first time in it. I mean, for most of these players in an arena environment of this kind, mm -hmm. and uh, for Wacky Jackie, it's no longer on the ladder, but he is playing with some extremely talented pros. Team Liquid taking second place in their uh, essentially foreign turf on third-person perspective. Yep. Uh, and uh, Beast has said last, uh, last night at dinner that uh, Wacky Jackie's great because he listens, and that's something that uh, oh. uh, is, is an important aspect of, of learning the pro meta, which is exactly what they're playing. It's the same type of settings, and for the most of these guys, it's their first exposure to that. It's like, hey, hey guys, can you just like follow exactly what I say? Yes? Oh, brilliant. Teamwork. Yeah. Isn't, isn't this a beautiful thing in a computer game when you could actually function as a squad? No toxicity from Wacky Jackie. That's uh, <laughs> no, not happening there. But, you need, uh, you need uh, voice lines to spam out inside the game. It's like, I, I, I do not understand. I do not understand every <laughs> single every single command that comes my way. As looks like uh, looks like Mumino is on the run as oh. Chiefs. Larson That's around it. the corner and Larson gets executed. Vard's there to support, but that was kind of a... An ambush. Yeah, they, they, that's that's uh, that's the uh, Straya trap right there. The plane path was not good for this Georgia Pole loot area, so Vard and WTSG very underlooted. Mm -hmm. Critical getting the jump on on Larson. Man, even in the charity game, it's like WTSG cannot have South Georgia themselves. It's, <laughs> uh, it's it must be in their uh, in the contract within the team is that they can only loot one spot. But it did take them a long time to get up there. Critical's but checking the corners. He's he's trying to get Vard, who's one floor up right now. He's got the penthouse view. Edge will come as well. They'll need two if they're going to try and just rush Vard. And I think Vard wants some help, but help. there's no weapon on his health. <laughs> and there it is. Critical gets hit. He'll be running back down the stairs, but Vard's so low on life. And here uh, comes oh. Edge to finish the job. Oh, will he? He will. It's Vard. Knocked down. The revive is there. And WTSG, goodbye. That's both pros going down and out. Yep. So they do have some teammates left, but now it's going to be up to their influencer friends to continue uh, their trek forward. Never them. count out an influencer. <laughs> they're crazy, they're unpredictable. They push when they should fold. Well, they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be all alone for now. TGX in oh. the Georgia Pole region as well. Your favorite gun, the Vector. <laughs> the Vector. An old vector guy. Yeah. Always, always finds Sorry. you somewhere. It's a, it's a, sh it's a shame the MC49 doesn't drop for you as well. Yeah, the uh, always a vector guy in a bush somewhere, ready to spring up at any moment. Yeah, you know, it's like, uh, and, and without the extended quick draw, we'll still be able to nail you. It's like, oh, damn it. Oh, it's like the rest of Delta just wants to run the hell out of here. Looks like uh, Dorali actually got knocked. Mumino uh, dies to myth, as well as himself falling over. They're coming in to try and mop up the remainder of, uh, yeah, of call sign Mike. Not looking good. Le Floyd. The Floyd, for those of you who don't speak French. Le Floyd? The Floyd. <laughs> I, I, do, I do not. I'm an, I'm, I'm an uncultured Australian swine. I'm sorry. Well, at least it looks like Critical's got his number. He's got a pistol, though. I mean, it's looking really good for him. Yeah, pistol versus Scar. Mm. 
I wonder who comes out on top of that battle. We'll find out. If, if it's a deagle, well, just pop him. Critical. Hey, first person perspective. Lloyd, going to work. Well, Lloyd, what's he doing? No, he's running towards it. <laughs> <laughs> that's called dying with style. Bold move. Really bold. Yeah, well, that's the first team out now. We're down to 19 teams. Well, that's that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the circle will come in in, in uh, six seconds' time. So we will have to start pulling all these teams in from the northeast. Yeah, there's a lot of teams actually outside the play zone right now, and that rotation uh, phase is going to start to occur. Uh, Ninja and company already on their way, a little bit closer I to Pachinki, but it looks like we do have a three-team stack around this area. It's Viva La Dirt League. I thought they the covered this in their videos. Don't run by yourself through an open field with no cover. We were actually sat up in the lounge yesterday, and uh, I, I, I did recognize I was one of those situations where, like, I know you from somewhere, but where is it? But uh, their videos are hilarious. And yeah. now with, uh, with the Knights, they do have a pair of uh, very high-level fraggers. See if they can uh, keep some momentum going here, but uh, I'm interested to see. They're just two wheeling this? Yeah, they're going for this, it. Uh, driving, now driving with style. Everything's style points here. It's that, it's that momentum, soon that long oh. drift. Refund on the way. Yeah, every, everyone's going to start to make their fast move. Surprisingly, too, like uh, we, we've seen it through the first two days where it's that quick push to get inside the circle. Everyone's a little bit slower when it comes to the first person and also the charity rounds. For Shroud and Doc and everyone in Pachinki, they have had this really long oh. opportunity to lose. No, no one saw that, Funky. No one, no, <laughs> one, no one at all saw it. We all saw it. Driving is hard. Yeah. Lots of time in Pachinki to loot up for Doc and Shroud and uh, Team Ghost, so mm -hmm. they should be well equipped, something we did not see from the teams that had a longer path yeah. to get into the zone. So now, uh, they're going to have to decide do they want to stay in Pachinki or move away. It looks like they do have a scout out in the middle of the map right now. I imagine that's one of the ghost players yeah. looking to find some place for them to call home for the mid game. Yeah, last time they, uh, they actually pushed out to the west of Pachinki. We were able to take that small little farmhouse to the side, and that was the hillside. They then got kind of choked up on. But because this circle's pushed so far to the southwest, like, you'll be counting the odds that the movement will not, will not hit, you, hit you that hard. And you don't have to have, not just scale a mountain. There's oh, uh -oh. Pino. There is uh, Team Gates, Mossy, hey. and Mortify there, ready to not just knock him, but to totally kill him. That's Ninja Squad. For those of you watching, I hope Sierra is the squad with Ninja, Josh, OG, and Team Gates. And it is going to be Bravo with uh, Shroud, Doc, and Team Ghost. So Sierra getting involved here early. That Pachinki region starting to heat up. And I like how Team Hotel is the one who has the broken down building. Like, this is... Uh, this is like maybe, what, the parking garage yeah, the, of the, the hotel? It's, the, it's a one-star hotel in this case. <laughs> I'm sorry, couldn't afford anything better for them. As, uh, <laughs> what the hell were that jumping from, from, uh, from golf? Coming into the yellow, that's what Sierra is looking down onto. Trying to find a couple of pop shots. I wonder, I, I'm not sure how much experience Ninja has with some of these newer guns. The SLR, I think, would be right up his alley. Not a ton of meds. He does have those 25 bandages. Um, but uh, that SLR is a good choice for him. Easy DMR action. He does have a little bit of a line of sight. Can't see anything, uh, but he is looking that way. Very stylish. Everyone's on the move. Sierra, the quick ride by. Oh. Wilrex gets knocked off the bike. So does Ragnar. And, well, they had such a great time sitting on the mountain, but it seems when they come down from their perch, it's a little bit rougher. That's like a, a, another, another gate camp or a gatekeep here from this squad who's been picking up vehicles left, right, and center. Speaking of which, Inuktiv trying to get some shots onto Avangar. Or, sorry, excuse me, uh, that's uh, Navi, I think, moving around behind him. Mm -hmm. Or the Knights. Hey, buy space for Voxic to get himself inside one of the shacks and just hide up and met up. He already lost his own teammate in Texas. It's, uh, it's his style. Still looting, unfortunately, for Delta. A little bit of a slow start, still holding on to that South George region. Like, is 90 bullets enough with your AK to get through this? Probably not. Well, we talked about this yesterday and through the tournament so far as is the, is the, is the preference for players to grab more grenades and, and uh, meds than ammo makes mm -hmm. more sense in pro play. But here, I think it's going to be a little Bravo bit more Bravo is just got himself into an interesting spot. Shroud's just pulling out the VSS oh, to go for his attack. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's Philippin who gets knocked out. Ghost is going for the full push to take the hill. And I don't think there's a lot of help. Shroud going full meme here. <laughs> The VSS, better, better left unused, but uh, for now, it looks like he's going to be putting it to use. Yep, Quest is on the full run. 
I don't think they want any kind of part of this. Oh, the extended mag as well. He's going all in. <laughs> Looking for a hit over the trees. So McCoy will be able to connect as Quest run back. He nipped at their heels and even clipped like Achilles. The circle is almost at the end. Shroud clearly taking it easy on the competition, opting for the VSS. What is Ben doing all the way up on the <laughs> northeast by himself at the blue? Avangar is in trouble here. It's a full press by Ghost and Shroud. That VSS oh. just spraying into oh. it. Nothing landing. Yeah, it's McCoy as, who does it. <laughs> as per usual with the VSS, but uh, at least he's got it. Not even, sure what the secondary is, but he's got something going here. Even if it does land, just sitting there going, well, what's, what's, this, what's this really like? Are the bullets really worth it? Looks like we got ourselves a potential bridge hold. No one is on that military okay. island to hold. Everyone has moved to the northern side of it. But we have shifted hard southeast with the circle, and that's what Rowan's doing. He is... Uh, High-level strats. This is uh, meds, energy drinks, and a prayer. Yeah, he's uh, going for the... The very, uh, the oh, very, he's, he's got very the micro extreme Uzi. micro Uzi level one helmet naked strat. That's the, uh, <laughs> it's the diehard strat, right? I got that taped on with Christmas tape. The exceptions trying to control the ridge line. The highest western point uh -oh. that you can probably take. Go to who's gonna. He's lost a wheel. He's lost the front left, but he's still got enough momentum to get in closer. But uh, hotel, uh, they're finally set up, and you've got to pay. Oh, you do not get to pass go. He was very committed to driving and dying there. He was like, I want to be blown up, and I'm going <laughs> to make sure that happens by driving right at this squad. Into cover. The remaining members of Quest. It's Charlie, you have that western side of the hill in the zone. And I look over to your favorite team. There's Wacky Jackie making a bit of a run. He is scouted out in the vehicles as well. Checking his spray patterns, making sure that uh, everything's working as it should be. November's out as Lion K, K is finished off. And here comes Chiefs, finally leaving South George. Yeah, Delta will finally finish their loot. Looks like they're going to be making <laughs> their way all the way down. <laughs> Rowan's just in the cross that, next to Pachinki. Well, the, cha the channel <laughs> is going to make this issue, like this issue with the, with the map, the way it's set up with this circle, is that channel between the military island and the main island is taking away a ton of usable space. Mm -hmm. So that northwestern side is going to be a lot of uh, a lot of pressure. You can see Doc and Shroud, everyone coming in a little bit centered. But for now, it does look like Wacky Jackie and company have a better spot. But here comes Rowan, sneaking his way. Yeah. yeah. He, he blends. He, he's, try, he's trying to do his best uh, tree impression here. You also got to remember, he's in first person while he's down on the ground. We're watching him in third person. All he's seeing right now is grass and hearing things moving. Yeah, he can't see. Uh, he can't see anything, so he'll just be prone and looking around. Eureka from Cloud Nine, getting some pressure oh, here. Actually, getting knocked down. Molodoy's moved forward. Same with Yuba, and they are trying to take him. Magatau's a good player. I watched him play in the uh, Broadcaster Real tournament, and he did do very well for himself. So being paired with Navi, I think, is a is a good choice for them. Shroud. Uh oh, here looking we go. To actually come yes, up. that's time. Yep, looking for an easy target. Wait, did he look around? Oh, yeah, he saw him. He saw Nemesis just at the last point. Oh, he's got a point. flank on him. So low on life. Shroud's in retreat, and support is arriving. Balak there, holding for the AK. Shroud going for the med. Golf is pushing. They're going for it. Shroud is down on the yes, hillside. Oh, he no. needs to open up. Then they're going to finish. Shroud, oh. they actually end him. The manners is there. Balak couldn't do enough. The Doc and McCoy now finally come to life. The Shroud being put down. That nade, oh, landing a little short. Maybe uh, disorienting Dr. Disrespect. They have the high ground and the peak advantage. The nade's coming down next to Balak. They're happy with it. They got what they wanted, and they're leaving with the jewel that is Shroud's scalp. Well, the VSS didn't work out for Shroud there. Maybe, uh, maybe next time decide to try something else. But uh, for now, it looks like Bravo has lost. Uh, arguably their star player, and it's going to be a long trek into the mid-game for them. Dr. Disrespect, McCoy, and Balak having to carry that load all by themselves. Yeah, this push by, uh, by Lima is uh, doing real good work to try and keep the, keep the knockdowns coming. Too much time with Choco Taco there for Shroud. The VSS. <laughs> yeah. Too much. Get off it. Get off it. Get yourself a real weapon. Oh, the circle goes again. Looking, for, looking good for Liquid here. It, it is. Not to mention the Fairy Pier uh, movement up from the 4 a.m. stack. 
that water staying in is a, is a huge problem. And now it begins to question, do you go bridge? Yeah, do you go under the bridge? Because there's a very ch there's a very small but real chance that that thing could shift back across yep. to the military base. CGW already going for it. Oh. Mr. Yupi is already on the way. They want that, light uh, that lighthouse, I think. Well, Doc's just gunning it right down. It's almost Cressida driving Old Man Card down the middle of the open. McCoy knocked by Molodoy and then uh, killed by the fall. Boxic holding on to the shack, looking to try and grab some kills on the transition here from these other teams. But, uh, oh. Oh! Yeah, the Chiefs going to work. Edge chalking up another one. A lot of Two aggression of here. That's the second time we've seen that happen for Edge. He just pops over and does some damage. And now look at that. That's all of Sierra in rotation, or at least two of. It looks like Team Gates. I'm not sure if they've left Shroud behind. Or yeah, that's Ninja. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. Uh -oh. It's fine. It's recoverable. It's re Everybody out. Yeah, okay. Maybe not so recoverable. They don't have the lighthouse. There's guys up to the yellows. It's Myth who's up on the hill next to him. We could just shoot down. This is actually a horrible, like, pincered point that Sierra is in and Doc the style bump. At the least he made it to the ferry. It looks like his car. <laughs> it really does. I hope Ninja has enough materials to make it through this mid game. So for Doc and Balak, oh, they're going to have to decide if they want to get into the ferry pier or try and play it safe. Sierra's in trouble. They at least were able to find one kill, but Josh, Josh OG gets knocked and actually killed off. So they're down to three players. Not a bad position here, but I, I don't know if they have enough cover to kind of deal with the people in front of them. But Myth yeah. is there in force right yeah, now. What, what if Myth just walks over to the top of the rocks and just looks down onto Sierra? That's going to be a nightmare for him. And actually, a CGW who are up on the hill having the lighthouse. It's, this is why you can't really go on to the bridge for, from that position. You need to get peppered down. And it looks like already Sierra decided to move in closer in towards trees, in towards some kind of oh. cover. So they do not get shot by Jewel to get the liquid stack. So this is actually Wacky Jacky looking at the position of Ninja and Mossy. Ooh, that's a nice weapon. Bring out the MK with the... Meanwhile. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> we have real life playing. I don't think uh, he's lucky enough to have the ghillie suit. <laughs> he's blending very well into that stage. Yeah, stay in the shadows, not the spotlights. Rock, maybe. Uh, he's trying to connect. It's Rick. Rick? Yes, man, maybe Rick. <laughs> maybe Rick. Yeah. This is gold. The winners from last game getting lots of pressure in their boat. They're going to get under. They're actually going to get under the bridge. Uh-oh, Ninja's in trouble here. Yeah, he's really low. All Having to take more cover. Or build some. Oh, shot in the back. Myth had the angle. Grenade prepared. Uh -oh. Here comes the toss. And will it actually hit the basket of Ninja? Nope. Doesn't look like it, but Ninja, he doesn't have any close-by friends to really pick him oh, up. And there Ninja. goes Rick. No maybe about it. Brings down Ninja. That's that. Now it's going to be up to Josh and Mossy. Actually, I didn't see where Josh went to. Yeah. <laughs> Just gone a wall. Josh, hello. I don't see him on the map. He's uh. I, don't see, I, I see where Mossy is. Mossy yeah. is oh, gone Mort down. Mortify, Mortify is still alive as well, so they do have two players left at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mortify is on the northwest circle. It's going to go onto the ferry pier. So uh, CGW's position, position was great before. Now it's absolutely terrible. And Mortify can't really get anywhere. There's a lot of players alive. 52 alive. This is a lot going on. But it looks like Wacky Jackie and Liquid have a nice hold on the northern side of the play zone. They have Critical and Chief zoned entirely, but they do have Moondye in their squad right next to them. And yeah, that AHQ push is finally coming in. Charlie's in real trouble as Igloo push him on the hillside. They have to lick their wounds for a second, but uh, they will continue to push. Oh well my. done, Rowan. At least <laughs> you're, you're, you're playing, you're playing oh the game. Oh, my God, dude. He's playing the game. He's got no first aid left. I don't think he even makes that run. Yeah, he can make it, but it's going uh, to be a tough time after that. Yep. Juan Correa. Trying to get his shots in uh, CGW here. It's a, this is the, the boat, the boat bearing team, doing some damage here and looking good. Yeah, there's Papa. Papa looking for wins. Uh, maybe is knocked out. Mossy is kind of stuck down in the water. I don't know if he can actually get up in that small crevice he's got. If there's a way up on the side. Evermore is down, getting that headshot from Karad. He's going to have to deal with that now. Eska looking for more. Eska's been playing so well through this tournament. Oh, there, there's, that, there's that zone I was talking about. It looks like Liquid has keeps hemmed in and are doing a lot of damage. Right, now they can actually start chalking up some kills. Three in total for Liquid, who's been in never-ending gunfights for a while. And Myth, who did push down with their car, now locked behind their car's cover. A couple of hits landing for James in that mini. Q-Boy, Minoru. They're actually just going to drive it off. 
But you can't make that run, so they try and make it towards the petrol station. Fuel up. This, looks, this is another team that's going to be right in the line of sight of, uh, of Liquid. Yeah, did they see? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, Zelk's already been knocked out. Eska's, Eska's down now as well. Harper with problems. The North is still condensing as well, as I think Mortify is finally going to make his way into the circle. The Doc. Looking for something here. Still keeping something like Hope alive with Balak. They've actually claimed three kills between them. But uh, Liquid are now opening up their account even more. Great rain shots. They I, own this hill. I had the opportunity to see uh, Doc's dressing room, and you would believe it. There's a full rack of black on black on slate black. Just ready. We're going to raid that during our yeah. third and fourth round. I think he's got enough for the millions here in the arena, but uh, maybe not for us. No. <laughs> Castles are always on the, on the short end of the stick. Yeah. We'll leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> so Ibiza and the... Oh, look at Mossy. There we go. Yeah. This is what I was wondering, like, is there a way up? And there's another swimmer. Is that... It's Ben. It's Ben in the water. <laughs> He's actually trying to swim around the peak, but his, his path takes him directly into Papa if he goes that way. Well, Edge from Delta, the last man left standing. That team still managed to claim six kills so far. Wick, believe it or not, the last man standing on his squad. Yeah, looking for the 15 points, able hey. to claim it. That was actually a knockdown by, uh, by Zargon. This is not where Myth wanted to be. They kind of oh. trapped and Wacky too many eyes just looked down on top of him. Wacky looking for that first kill still. Just trying his best to get something. He sees a head there. Oh, he sees come on, Wacky. He's flying right it. at him. This is a oh, wild. I was going to say a potato fight, but Wacky Jackie takes one in the teeth. I, it was even. It was SKS versus SKS. They both had the same level of armor and health. Oh, he looks so sad crawling away. Uh, Ow, ow! <laughs> Sad animation. I, I, I just need like, like, like an arm up in the air. Please, please come and help me. I needed help. Ben's managed to make his way in. He's under the bridge. I think Evermore is realizing that there is, there is an odor behind him. It doesn't smell right. Bravo, with Dr. Disrespect and Balk, the last two standing. Oh, is he actually gonna, is, is Evermore here. backing off and letting it go? All right. Hey, all right. So it's going to be like a fairy pier beach ending. It's going to be very difficult for all these teams on the edge. <laughs> Now, I, if I'm Bravo and I'm Dr. Disrespect and Balak, I think I ride this next circle out, let these teams take care of each other. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of cover to work with here. They've and still got some good lines of sight where they are. Yeah. And they, they don't need to take the fights. They have Alpha coming in behind them, however, so now it's going to be a bit of defense looking out behind them. And they'll have a small line. Wick's going to go down, which does finally remove Hotel out in 15th position. Mixie, he was waiting for Molodoy to run past, lurking. Nice. The team golf. Nice pick up there for them. Being patient, Makatao. Rest of his team up just above him. Yeah, Lima's cottoned onto it. Mixie, you want to do this run? Tags, plays games, doesn't see the line for it. Biggest stage for Doc since 1994, I believe. Looking to take home another championship. He's uh, battling the odds. <laughs> only, <laughs> only two left standing on the team. Has, has he still got it after all these years? I don't know. I mean, the back to back. Simpson, he's gone for the long run. He's taken the beachfront. Small, little bit of defilade control for him, as well as the uh, the boat to cover his western flank. A little bit away from the loot drop, which will now come into shot in a second. Nope. And hide in... Okay, well, this looks like a great place if you have a grenade to find two quick kills. Uh-oh, here comes... Now, yeah, this is where this, there it is. Yeah, there comes there the grenade. It is. Run in. They heard, run the, they heard, they heard the... Oh! Oh, bounces out. It's a very small oh, window to aim for. It. The car blows up. Shaka, he can feed oh. it down. No, Jens. It was Sakriel that actually kept it. Actually, it was, no, it was Ibiza who helped him out. Let's get Wacky a kill here. He needs it. Are they both standing on top of each other? They are. They're going to shoot each other. Jeems. <laughs> <laughs> Were they oh, trying to glitch it? You can't, you, you can't boost jump in they're this. Not, they're not out of it yet. There's more pressure coming. Sakriel having to med. Now, that is Delta going out. Four players left up. Refund with a, uh, a wonderful coastal view for Team Golf. The Doc's looking for his own line of fire. They did wait out the circle. No kills for the team, uh, for the players Wait, left alive on the team. Is that Ben who just killed somebody? Yeah, he uh, drowned Evermore in the lake, I think. <laughs> 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 the, the Battle of the Blue. 
That's, that shouldn't have happened. That should not have happened. The micro Uzi going to work, huh? Actually, it wasn't even that. Like he just, I, yeah, I think I, he I, just I, punched him to death. I or have something? no idea. Yeah, I wasn't watching close enough for a, it. It's a mystery. It was just a down. I didn't see what it was. Yeah. Oh, Jeems is continuing to nade people, actually wiping out an entire team. Oh. The nades are coming hot and heavy. Just keep them flying. She and Blue's hiding inside the small hut, but it's uh, it's all in the northwest corner. Ibiza and Jeems are going off here. <laughs> Looking to chalk up some more. Myth getting involved as well. Oh, Jackie's out. They had they a line from the side. It was almost impossible to keep the cover going. The circle is going to push us a little bit further southeast. So everyone who's on the hill will finally have to come down. Not to mention the west pushes. This is going to be hard. Now, now it's the time where all of the buildings, except for a few, are coming out. And now Doc <laughs> and Balak are on the move with Makatao. Mixie there as well. Now Golf it's a 1v1 Golf situation. Golf for pushing it. Looking for the kill over the top. Mixie, does he find it? No! Makato, not only we get the kill, he'll be able to pick up tags now. I think they're going to want to try and skirt this fight. There's going to be nothing but open beach after they get around this little ridge. Doc yeah. lagging behind a little bit, but here comes Refund. They're gonna, they they're will gonna pick make up more. The house. They're actually going to make the house because Golf came out to try and take the fight. Balak sees over towards the side. He'll oh. get the shot and now has to get into cover, taking a lot of damage. Funky M. Doc trailing behind, still looking for his first kill. Mm -hmm. You come out for kills, you lose the position. House looked vacant. And how's the squatters in form of Bravo? Full peak there for Doc. Gotta be careful. He's watching the right side. He's looking to try and flank around. Either that or Balak. He's prepping the grenade. It's gonna be a little bit off. Doesn't bounce nicely. And here comes the res. A little bit, uh, maybe he's lacking in some pressure here. Meanwhile, it looks like Liquid is just now trying to get into the zone. They're being held completely out by 4 a.m. squad. Yes, yeah, the Alpha squad moving in from the west. They're, in, they're still four men strong. Good choice here from Doc and Balak to grab this house. Can they look down? Jump through the window and look directly down. A grenade is there for Balak. He, if he can get the bounce right, he's just gonna going to toss under, it going out the window. Nice. A bit of a toss down. Bounces too far, too far think, however. Yeah, too far. Same with the Doc. His will fly too hard as well. Here comes another. Are they going to push? Now they're getting the hell out of there. They're just running towards the wall. Some level of cover away. Balak knows he's there. He saw his uh, legs. It looks like Doc coming oh, to support. Oh, this could be good. This could be good. This looks okay. One, two, three. Drop, 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 drop around the side. Nemesis, oh. he gets tagged up as well. The grenade. There the it damage is. is enough to get the knock. He's still got another one. How is Balak just an armory? Nades after nades after nades. They're going to push this Doc actually out of position. Funky M's looking no the right support. way. No he's going to see Balak on the jump out. Look around the corner. Oh, no. Balak, he's going to get knocked. It's up to the Doc. Funky M's pushing forward. He wants to finish. He'll claim Here it comes quickly. Support. Doc, where are you? He's got to help his... Well, he's got to now clutch this for himself. Oh, he's, he's going to go out. for it. He's going for it. Funky M will 100% have heard that. Doc he's looking at Doc sees it over. Over the, <laughs> the top of the wall. Now Doc in a solo situation. Meanwhile, 4AM getting involved again. This time will be on to Myth. Ginny being knocked under the cover of smoke at least. But the circle constricts once more. Doc owns the southern side of the circle. Every other player is in the northern half. And what does the circle do? Oh, it pushes no. to the north, right on top of Liquid, right on top of Alpha. But this looks like it's going to be 4AM with the advantage. They have the manpower here, Ibiza by himself. Doc is going to have to rotate out of this compound, likely push the gap to the left, come in behind these teams. But for the most part, now Team Gold has a wide open push through the open, mm -hmm. and they're still dealing with Myth. Hey, that's fine for the Doc. He can, sit in, he can just sit on that defilade side and let everyone else battle it out because there's two squads already in that building, the only one remaining inside the circle, the firehouse. And Alpha have got the choice. Do you push it? Do you clear it? Then do you take it? Or is this just not worth it? Gold, Gold is, is pinned by Myth, so you know they're going to come in late as well, both squads. Myth has the advantage. They're a little bit closer to the zone. And now we'll see if... Oh, no. Um, yep. <laughs> that works fine. The push is coming in. First one to die. There's the remainder of Juliet, but there's still another surprise waiting upstairs. Oh, I, I take... Yep, take Top it. 10 Rubius situation for the dock now. Yep. There's four teams remaining. Papa. We're trying to find the angle onto Myth around the trees. The grenades continue to fly, just a little bit too short. Simpson, he's the man. Coming in for the flanking push. Can't clip the heads of Myth, however. Needs his teammate up there to help him. Wankri has to get up there and try and help trade. Ginny and his... Well, is, is Galusia? I'm trying. That's my best on that one. Yeah. Oh, no, they're getting knocked from behind. Oh, it's 4 a.m. doing their work. Alpha. 
<laughs> Moving forward, they're still the only squad who have four players left alive. We're now down to three. The Doctor on the way. It's the gold stack versus the 4 a.m. stack, and then a rogue dock. And he opens up, misses the shots. He's trying his best right now, but now the pressure's on him. The blue is coming. He's going to have to deal with this. He does not have the zone. He's going to have to crest this hill and be wide in the open. No smokes yet. Oh. The doctor has to clutch this. He's got the car 98 in hand. I think Papa's about to kill the legend of old time. Doc is on the run. Maybe there's enough defilade for him to flank around. 4 a.m. are coming out of the building looking for the fight, too. He's As trying to get away. everyone does the run, Simpson's looking for the angle, and looks like Doc will make it to the defilade. Visible for oh, half he turns a second. Back. He can see him for a second. Doc, commit to something right now. He As comes to the close to defilade, but he's still no. not inside the circle. Not he's like on this. the edge, but now you've got the 4 a.m. sack opening up. Oh, Doc! No. He misses the K98 shot that needed to be able to connect. He's oh. so long on life. Doc will go down. Two teams left, and it is not a good place for Papa. It is a four on two, and they do not have the circle. Have this no should cover. be a quick and easy oh. cleanup, and that's exactly what happens. It's Alpha all the way. What a game. Again, the positioning of the 4 a.m. really went in their favor. Love the way that Bravo played. Ultimately, it came down to Dr. Disrespect looking to clutch that game. Maybe a bit of a misstep with the car 98 that close. I think the uh -huh. AR would have done, done him a little bit better. But a really nice game from Bravo, but ultimately 4 a.m. stealing that one. When the pressure's on, you got to step up. And, well, 4 a.m. did it, but they played that nice, slow edge of the circle. We've got tons of fun. Uh, we've got, we got tons of loot in us. Just keep pushing in slowly. And they got the better angles. It's like Liquid put themselves smack bang into the middle of us. Like, all right, we'll take every single fight that you've got. Oh, okay, maybe we're going to run out and run out of ammo at some point. James picked up seven kills through that oh, game. Ibiza with five. five. Unfortunately, Wacky goes out with no kills there, but a good effort from that team. Uh, and really, I think that they just had so much going on on their side of the play zone. And there's the dock. I'm not a happy. little bit upset, I think. So close, yet no cigar. But it's still a great performance, and uh, they waited it out. They dealt with the fact that their that their primary carry was killed early on, and it was it was execution and runaway. I think they maybe have to have a bit of a team meeting there, trying to determine maybe Shroud has to pick up something a little bit more useful than the VSS. But ultimately, I think that they are starting to kind of gel as a team. Their movement looked very good. Balak, the IGL for Ghost, maybe starting to rub off a little bit on those in his team and maybe bounce back for game number three. Yeah, we've got more to come, though. We're only halfway through our charity event. Alpha take this, but who will take third and fourth? Stay tuned to find out. Lurex gets knocked off the bike. So does Ragnar. Pushing. They're going for it. Trout is down on the yeah, hillside. Oh, no. no. Coming in, first one to die. 